I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. Let's say 20th of March. Is incorrect. Bitch! G'day, I'm Tom Harper, a man on a mission to test musicians. I do it all in the Locals Only Lounge with producer Kate Davey. She books the guests and I put them to the test. This is Locals Only. Koto, welcome to Locals Only, the New Zealand music game show where we put Aotearoa's finest musicians to the test. Today's guests will be playing for a copy of Avondale Bowling Club on vinyl live at the Power Station. And to take this prize home, they will have to survive a few rounds in the Locals Only Lounge. With that, welcome to the Locals Only Lounge, Ruby Doo. Hi, thank you for having me. Ruby Doo, uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest, you look terrified right now. How are you feeling? Yeah, uh, I just don't know what the fuck we'd be doing, so. Okay, well that's, um, you're not alone. Most people, they come into the Locals Only Lounge, they don't actually know what's about to happen. Okay. What we're going to be doing is playing some games, uh, and then executive producer Kate Davey will be scoring you. And if you score high enough in those three rounds, you're taking home a copy of that album on vinyl. So I'd, love, I'd love to win that prize. Oh, this is good. I'm going to win that prize. Round one. Ruby Doo, when she due. Looking at photos of pregnant musicians, Ruby Doo will guess what month the baby dropped. Okay, that's cool. This is um, Lizzie Marvely. Lizzie Marvely. Yeah. And when was that photo that. taken, Kate? This photo was taken on October 22nd, 2021, so and, somewhat recent. And we can confirm she's pregnant there? She is pregs there. She's pregs there, okay. okay. Ruby Doo, what is she do? Well, she, she looks about maybe five months pregnant. Okay. So add another four months to October. So what is that, where does so that So I would up? say like February, in Feb, maybe March. I would say March 1st. It was very, very close. She was born uh, the 20th of January, 2020. Oh, wow. That was very close. <laughs> okay, let's roll on to the second. Uh, lovely pregnant lady. Who is it, this musician? This is Anika Moore. Anika Moore. Cool. A little bit further back, but still semi-recent. You know, it looks like baby's quite developed. Okay, quite um, developed. 20th of Jan, and she looks, I don't know, again, seven months pregnant. Yeah. Add two Which more months. Here at. So I would. Let's say 20th of March. We're going March again. Executive producer Kate Davey, is that correct? You're a month off. It was the 18th of February, 2019. Oh, wow. Oh. This is Brooke Fraser. Okay, oh, Brooke Fraser. so hard. Yeah. It is. Great on the piano. She, she looks like Fraser. she's ready to pop. So we I'm ask you for a third time, Ruby. Ruby Jew, when is she due? What do we think? So this is on. 23rd of August 2015. And take your time with this as well. Feel free to put your hand on the belly, get a sense of the uh... I'd love to win that prize. Oh, I'm going to win that prize. I bet baby came a week after this photo was wow. taken. I don't know, she just looks like she's she's about to go into labour. I, I would say <laughs> 23rd of August. I would say 31st of August. So close, it is, uh, baby was born on September 18th. Oh wow, oh, so three weeks after this photo. Yeah, okay. yeah. Alright. So Ruby do when she do. round one is over. What did Ruby do score for round one, executive producer Kate Davey? Um, so you, you were really close but you didn't actually get any right, but that's okay because you've still scored yourself five, which is the amount of members that were in NZ's best boy band, Titanium. <laughs> oh, I remember them! Yeah. Right. Okay, <laughs> that brings us to the end of round one. Very well done there. Uh, pretty good score, I think. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, um, so let's move on to round two. Tom Riddle, Ruby Rubin edition. Ruby do will guess which Ruby or Reuben Tom is riddling about. The first clue. Martin Short played this Ruby's brother in the Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. Firstly, I don't know who Martin Short is. Uh oh. 
Have you seen? Secondly, have you seen Santa Claus? I don't watch Santa movies. Ah, oh, what? Well, Usually the third one's never good anyway. So. No. Wow. Um, Return yeah. of the King. I'll raise you Return of the King, the third Lord of the Rings movie. Wow, well, okay, yeah, I, I still think Two Towers is pretty good though. Yeah, Battle of Hamlet. Yeah, but you're right, Return of the King is the best one. I've so. never seen any Lord of the Rings. I, I fell don't asleep in the it. first one, so um, twice. Yeah, that long. So Bloody long, it took me a while to get through it, yeah. Well, this is what, the, you can go for a second clue here. Do you think you're going to need the second clue? Okay, let's just do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that pink lady sucking on that frosty boy. So that is that the is is the brother Ruby who said that line? You're on the track there. Except I've never seen the movie, so I don't even recognise that line. Yeah, you don't even know yeah. who Mark Short is. Shit clue, mate. Yeah. Next. So <laughs> stab in the dark. You have got 50-50 chance, don't you? Mm. I'm gonna get correct. Does she? How? How was the math on that guy? <laughs> Oh, Ruby Rose. I have no idea. Ruby oh, Rose. Hot. I saw her IRL one time. Oh, really? Super hot. I bet. Yeah. Supermodel. So, no, quite short. Hey? Huh? Is that defined by height? No, I short? don't know. Okay, so the correct answer was Ruby <clears throat> Frost. Ruby Frost. New Zealand musician Ruby Frost. <laughs> oh. She is the namesake with Jack Frost, the character that Martin Short plays in Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. Of course. Okay, and now I get how had, the game works. Okay. It's a, it's a, right. They're all going to be a real stretch. Okay. Okay. Number two. Riddle number two. This Ruby's a real see you next Tuesday. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Oh, or you're about fuck. to have a stroke. No, it's um, bitch. Is this what is this what we is this what the show should be? Is just the guest just really pained and stressed out? <laughs> yeah, and a I don't time? like this game. It sucks. I'm gonna have to ask you to lock in something. Okay. Ruby eggs. I've fucking no idea. Ruby eggs is so incorrect. Like this Ruby was, of course, the Rolling Stone song Ruby Tuesday. Who came up with these questions? Jesus. The sandwich man's a real stud. Ah, uh, Reuben sandwich. <laughs> Is it? Reuben. The Reuben. The Reuben? It's called the Reuben. I lock in the Reuben. So you're locking in the Reuben. It's incorrect. Fuck it's off, incorrect. man. incorrect. Well, what is the uh, the Ruben the sandwich uh, in terms of the world of music? <laughs> That's your clue. Ruben Starrat. Was that his name? It's correct. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Ruby do. So we now turn to executive producer Kate Davey for your score. Ruby Ruben edition of Tom Riddle. All right. Um, you have scored yourself eight thousand two hundred and ten, which is the amount of votes that Ben Lummis received on the finals. Um, <laughs> Whoa! Are you serious? Yeah. It's almost like the show's planned. Round three, Ruby C, Ruby Do. Ruby Do will act out a movie she has seen for Tom to guess, abiding by the typical charades rules. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Movie? Movie. Fucking three words. First word, one syllable, that. Second word. No. Two, so second word, two syllables. Lifting. Rising. The Lion King. Yes! Yes! Okay. Fucking yes! Here we go. Okay. Set the two words. First word. Da. Second word. Face. Mask. The mask. Yes! 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 The yes, mask. Yes. Yeah. Um. The mark. Okay. Fourth. I mean, four, four words. words. Four words. First word. One syllable. Toe. Bend. Bend it like Beckham. Oh, too easy. That was too <laughs> easy. <laughs> what the hell? So heavy. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh god. Um. Two words. First word. We're on a roll now. Shoot. Gun. Stab. Kill. Kill Bill. Yes! 
Yes! Yes! Volume yes. one? Oh god. <laughs> this is great, I want to mess around now. One word! Two, three syllables! Impossible. No, that's, the <laughs> that's more than three syllables. Okay. First syllable? Lace. Tie. Tiny, tie. Tie. Mm. Oh, second, second syllable. Tie. Sounds like? Um. Man. Sounds like man. Ram. Sam. Tan. Yes! Jesus okay, Christ. Titan. Oh, Titanic! <laughs> okay, well, we got there in the end. That you did well. You resisted at first, but we got we found a rhythm, I think, right around the mask. We found a bit of a rhythm. Um, so th I think that's going to score quite highly. Um, executive producer Kate Dave, what did Ruby do score for round three? Ruby C, Ruby do. And you've scored yourself eight, which is the amount of inches that Benny Tippany was running. Oh. Like in here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, lovely. Okay, well that is the end of all three rounds. You guys are awesome, thank you. Thank you, Ruby Do. So now we turn to executive producer Kate Davey one last time for your cumulative score. All three rounds, what is your total score? So, what did Ruby Do score and is it enough to take home Avondale Bowling Club live at the Bowers Stairs? Avondale. Hey? Avondale. What's that? You said Avondale. Oh, I did too. Do you know why? Because Tom Scott, he's always lurking around Avondale. <laughs> he's always at the yeah, Avondale well, market. From, so. Yeah, yeah. So that's. <laughs> so, what is Ruby Do's final score for Avondale? Uh, you have scored yourself 4.8, which is the average number of times that each New Zealander has seen 660 live, which is fucking heaps. Wow. So you have scored yourself the album. Oh yay! Thank you so you much! You win! Ruby, do you win! Yay! Thank you again for coming in the Locals Only Lounge. Thank you. And make sure you at home check out Ruby Do on all streaming platforms and join us next week, where we will put another of Aotearoa's finest musicians to the test. Kakite Ano. Thanks again to New Zealand on Air. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and whatever the hell else we're on.